angles. Let's start this video with an interesting question. Here are some figures. Can you identify which of these figures is a triangle? You may pause the video and try to find out. Have you chosen figure E? If yes, then congratulations! You have correctly identified the triangle. To correctly identify a triangle, it is important to understand its concept correctly. Triangle is made of tri plus angle, which means a figure that is made of three sides. Therefore, we can say that a figure that is made up of three sides is called a triangle. In the given figures, only E is made up of three sides. Therefore, only this is a triangle. Along with three sides, a triangle also has three angles. In different triangles, we see that the measures of sides and angles are different. To understand triangles better, we classify them on the basis of their sides and angles. So, let's first learn the classification of triangles based on the sides. Look at this triangle. If we take the measurement of its three sides, then we will know that all its three sides are not equal. Such triangles whose sides are not equal are called scalene triangles. If we take the measurement of its angles, then we will know that its angles are not equal. In this way, we can say that all three sides of triangle are not equal, then its angles are also not equal. Now look at this triangle. If we take the measurement of its sides, then we find that two sides of its sides are equal and the third side is not equal to its other two sides. A triangle whose any two sides are equal is called an isosceles triangle. If we measure its angles, then we will know that the angles opposite to equal sides are also equal. This means that two sides and two angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Now, look at this triangle. On measuring this triangle, we find that all its three sides are equal. A triangle whose three sides are equal is known as equilateral triangle. If we measure its angles, we find that all the angles of such a triangle are also equal. That is, all the sides and all the angles of an equilateral triangle are equal. Now, let's learn how to classify triangles on the basis of angles. Here, three triangles are given. Can you find any difference by looking at their angles? Try. If we look at triangle ABC, then all its angles are acute angles. If we look at triangle PQR, then it has two acute angles, but one right angle. Similarly, in triangle LMN, we can see that there are two acute angles, but one obtuse angle. With this understanding, we can classify the triangles in following ways. Triangles in which all angles are acute angles are called acute angle triangle. Triangles with one right angle are called right angle triangle. Remember that the right angle of a right angle triangle is represented like this. Therefore, if an angle in a triangle is given like this, then you can easily identify that triangle as a right angle triangle. Similarly, triangles in which one angle is obtuse angle is known as obtuse angle triangle. Today we have learned classification of triangles. In the next video, we will learn some examples related to this. Classification of triangles See the displayed triangles and identify their names on the basis of their sides and angles. 1. Direction signboard 2. Wall and ladder A signboard showing the directions is represented in the first figure. In this figure, all three sides appear equal. Therefore, on the basis of sides, we can say that this is an equilateral triangle. Similarly, here we can see that all angles are smaller than right angle, which means they are appearing to be acute angles. 
Therefore, on the basis of angles, we can say that this is an acute angle triangle. In the second figure, a ladder is making a triangle with the wall and the ground. We know that a wall makes a right angle with the ground. In this way, we can say that there is one right angle in this triangle. Therefore, on the basis of angles, we can call it a right angle triangle. But if we observe carefully, we find that none of the sides of the triangle are equal. Therefore, on the basis of sides, we can say that this triangle is a scalene triangle. According to the description of the triangle, find the type of triangle based on the sides. From the description provided for triangle XYZ, we understand that the length of side XY and side YZ are equal. But the length of the third side XZ is different. Therefore, we will call this triangle as isosceles triangle. From the description provided for triangle ABC, we understand that the length of the three sides are not equal. Therefore, we call such triangle as scalene triangle. From the description provided for triangle PQR, we understand that the length of all three sides are equal. Therefore, we call such triangle as equilateral triangle. Next example, according to the description provided for the triangle, identify the triangle on the basis of angles. From the description provided for triangle LMN, we understand that angle L Angle M and angle N of the triangle are all smaller than right angle that is 90 degree. Therefore, we will call this triangle as acute angle triangle. From the description provided for triangle IJK, we understand that angle J is a right angle. A triangle in which there is one right angle is called a right angled triangle. Therefore, triangle IJK is a right angle triangle. From the description provided for triangle UVW, we understand that angle V is greater than right angle, which means it is an obtuse angle. Therefore, we call this triangle as obtuse angle triangle. So, today we have seen examples related to classifications of triangles. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to these. We'll see some misconceptions related to classification of triangles. Misconception 1. In the given triangles, which is a right angle triangle? Many times, students have a misconception that a right angle triangle is always upright and its base is parallel to the ground. Due to this misconception, they believe that only figure shown in option A is a right angle triangle. But this is a misconception because the concept of right angle triangle is that if any one angle of a triangle is 90 degree, that is right angle, then that triangle is a right angle triangle. Here, there is a right angle in the second figure also. Therefore, we can say that the second figure is also a right angle triangle. So, the correct answer to the given question is option 2. Remember that a triangle can be represented in any way, but if any one of its angle is a right angle, then it is called a right angle triangle. Misconception 2. Rita and Mina were identifying the type of triangle given. According to Rita's understanding, the given triangle is an acute angle triangle. Whereas, according to Mina's understanding, the given triangle is an obtuse angle triangle. Find out who is correct. Often students make mistake in identifying the type of triangle. Some students consider a triangle with two acute angles as acute angle triangle. Therefore, they give the answer as option 1 which is a wrong answer. Such mistakes occur due to lack of knowledge about the type of triangles and their concepts. To identify a triangle on the basis of angle, we observe the angles of the triangle. Triangles with all acute angles are called acute angle triangle. Triangles with one right angle are called right angle triangle. Similarly, triangles in which one angle is obtuse angle are called obtuse angled triangle. In this way, here we see that in this triangle, angle ABC is equal to 115 degree which is an obtuse angle. Therefore, this triangle is obtuse angle triangle. 
This means the correct answer is option 2. So, today we have seen some misconceptions related to classification 